So now that we can actually upload, and we've even gone in now and made our own small components for adding new products, let's actually continue right here with a new step in my application, which is going to be choosing the right file and even manipulating the file before I actually upload it. And what I want to do is kind of when I choose a file right here, first of all, I don't want you to allow you to put anything like PDF documents and stuff like that. I only want to allow images. So let's just start very simple and start right there. So what I'll do is I'll jump back to my code right here. I'll go into my product add HTML right here. And in the input field where we kind of upload, you can add something called accept, right? You can add that as a, uh, as a property on the tag right here. And that means right now I only want to accept everything that has to do with images. So that's how similar it actually is to kind of force my input to only accept those types. So that pretty much means if I go back to my application now and do a choose file, you'll notice I cannot pick this one now. This is a PDF file. I cannot pick that. That's not allowed now as my input type. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. But the other ones are because they're all pictures. So that was fairly simple. Now the second thing that I want you guys to consider is whenever you upload a picture to your storage, you should be able to somehow as a user crop the image before you upload it or change the image, manipulate the image to only get the area that you want to kind of display to whoever is using your system, right? So let's choose a file right here and let's say that I want to upload this beautiful deer and I don't want to show the entire picture right here. I actually only want the deer and then a bit of the background right here. So I want to crop the image, but I can't do that right now. So that pretty much means that I'm going to have to upload the entire image onto Firebase. That might make sense in your system. It might make sense. But in my case, I don't want to do that. I want to give the user the opportunity to kind of remove some of the noise on the image and only have the part of the image that he really wants to upload. So let's just remove this again. And what I want to do is kind of find what we call an image cropper. And since we're using Angular right now, of course, I want to find an Angular, um, an Angular service or something that can help me, a module that can help me crop an image, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now what I did is I went into Google and I pretty much just Googled Angular image cropper. If you use React, if you use Vue, it's the same idea. Find a cropper that's already built because there's a lot of help if you already can find a build module instead of you have to build it all from scratch. There's a lot more work in that one. Now the second thing I'm checking when I'm, when I'm looking at stuff like this is when was this actually changed? And let's look at this Angular image cropper right here. I'll go into that one and you'll notice that this guy has been kind of, um, it's over a year since it, was, since it was published. And let's just try and go into the GitHub link right here and see when somebody actually made changes to this. And you can luckily see that directly in the GitHub. And again, you notice right here the dates. It's over a year ago since somebody actually made changes to this. So if I can find something newer, I would be happy. So let's just skip that one for now. I'll go back and then I can see the top one, NGX image crop right here. That seems to be something that's maintained. Again, I'm going into the cropper right here and I can see the GitHub link again right here. I go into GitHub and you'll notice a year ago, a month ago, 26 days ago. So this is, seems to be maintained at some level at least right now. So I'm going to bet on this one. That's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going back right here and that's the one that we want to kind of install in the next couple of lessons and start using. And the goal of this is pretty much when I've selected an image, I want to be able to crop the image like he's doing right here. Oops, where did it go? There we go. So he's pretty much selecting. I only want to see the car of the image. Now there's a lot of cool things with doing this. First of all, you can now maintain and decide the exact size of the image that should be uploaded. There's actually ways to do that with this uh, cropper right here. So I can say, I only want to allow you to put up 128 times 128 images. So you just have to pick the area. You can't decide the size of the image. And of course that means you'll get smaller files and you'll always know the size of the images in your storage. And that's pretty amazing when you have to kind of get the images back and use them for something. Sweet. So what else do we do? Well, there's a lot of other things we can do with this and we'll try and dive into some of it. But this is kind of what we need to figure out how to get into our system right here. And yes, there's a lot of work. So we will get started in the next lesson. But I'm going to use this NGX image scrubber and we're going to kind of add it right here. So when we pick a file, we can kind of see and crop the image before we actually add the actual product. So see you next lesson where we'll take the first step and try and get the module up and running and try and actually be able to choose files and show the file. Have fun. See you next time.